the graduation venue. We are starting in two minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Caroline Mwangi. I am the director of special programs, Daraja Academy, and the special programs involves the transition program of the students and the participants that we are here for today to celebrate. So I want to take this opportunity to welcome all of you to Daraja. And this is our 10th graduation ceremony. That means that Daraja has grown and we are really proud of this far that we have come. It's such a milestone and we are happy that we've sent so much power into the world. As we wait to bring the class of 2021 graduates today, it is important for you to know that you will note a few things as they come in. And I think it's important that I tell you what it is so that you will note as they come and you'll not be confused in the process. First, let me tell you that they've been at Daraja for four years and three months. They've been for three months in the transition program. And they've been headed by our very able special programs coordinator. And her name is Rosalia Waitera. Please, Rosalia, stand and wave the people. Come closer here. We can't see you. She came back to Daraja and has been working with us, worked as a teacher, as a mentor to the girls, and now has been working in the special programs and the coordinator of the special programs. So she's worked with these girls for all that time when they were in transition, managing them, talking to them, planning the program, and overseeing everything. I want to give her a chance to greet you. Daraja means bridge. Yeah, I am Daraja. Again, my name is Rosalia Waitera, an alumna of the Raja Academy, class of 2013, and currently the Special Programs Coordinator. I'm proud of the girls who are going to walk in right now because they have traveled a long way, and today we are celebrating them, the achievements that they have made after four and a half years of being in the Raja. And the beautiful girls are somewhere. They are ready to come. But before they come, it's important for me to let you know that they have done so many skills. Apart from the academics and the journey that they took in high school, they've taken skills in the transition program. And then one month they have been in the communities doing community service that we refer to as internship. That is how we prepare them to go to their community and become the community change makers. The girls who are taking degree courses, they have a red wood. So when you see the red, it is those girls going direct to the university. There are two girls among those who also have a cord. You will realize that there is a cord here, a golden one. They are the two top girls of that class. So they have a code to say that they led that class. And then others will have a yellow hood. That means that they are going to take diploma courses. What does this mean? That that class, 25 girls, they have 100% transitioned to the higher level of learning. We are ready to bring in our graduates, these girls who are powerful beyond measure. This is time for the flag ceremony. The scouts on duty, move forward and perform your duty.
Sagishohi, Principal Academics. <coughs> Very honored to be part of this celebration today. So let's appreciate the class of 2021. As I thought about what to share today, the word transition came to my mind. It is a process or period of changing from one state or condition to another. Where are you moving to where? There is a display right before us. These ladies are leaving high school. They are going to college or university. That is their transition. Transitions are inevitable. Execute the wealth that God has put in you. Let's give God a hand of praise. And at this point, I want to invite Principal Welfare to recognize attendance. Hey, Daraja means bridge. And I am Daraja. She believed she could. And so she did. I'm super excited this morning for the doing of the Lord. Seeing these girls graduating today is such a great moment. Haijawa Rahisi, but it has taken the heart of God for them to be where they are. In our midst, we are honored to have the East African Women League just to celebrate with us and create more spaces for us as they look forward to support us. NCBA Bank, the CEO and a founder of One More Day for a Child in our midst, Mpala, Chief Finance Officer with us and we are happy that he came. Karibu sana. We are very happy to have uh, where our mom, that is the chair of the Kenyan board, because we know she's our mom, and when she's not here, we cannot be happy. But she sends the CEO, Mayan, to represent her. We are also honored as a school to have the Ministry of Education, because we believe in education, as the only thing that can bridge the very big gap between the rich and the poor. And together we rise to that. Thank you. Next, we have our graduates who will entertain us. And as they come, I will remind you of Pillar 3, which says, embrace differences, treat all with dignity and respect. And we have embraced our differences. Welcome, graduates. If you don't succeed, try again. Never stop trying. And when you succeed again, 
explore new opportunities. My supervisor recognized two girls with a golden cord. Those two girls will speak to us today and tell us something. Welcome for here. All protocols observed. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. My name is Farhia Ibrahim, graduate class of 2021. It just feels like yesterday when we came through those gates with our parents and guardians, and we were welcomed by the warm Daraja family with hugs, and everybody was joyous. And that began our journey in high school. 2022 seems so far away, but here I am, and this moment will come for you. In the words of my, my former mentor, in his absentia, Mr. Wainaina, who told me that take every opportunity and every person you meet in the respect that they deserve because you don't know what they will bring to your life. We all come from different backgrounds. As Rosalia has said, Kenya is, Adaraja is a small Kenya. Over 37 tribes are represented in this school. And with that diversity came our class. We were all from different places, different tribes, different religions, different personalities. But through that difference and contrast, we became united. Individually, we were weak, but when we joined hands, we were a force to be reckoned with. And through that unity, I know that we've grown each other and we formed bonds that will stay with us for the rest of our lives. When we put our minds together, we can actually achieve anything. We've overcome many hurdles. We've lost some sisters on the way due to unavoidable circumstances, but We've made it this far, and we are going far. We always remember that success is not final, and so don't get too happy. <laughs> and failure is not fatal, so don't be, don't give up. Always remember that it's the courage to continue that counts. Seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave, and always do your best. Never doubt yourself. Congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you. And I would like now to welcome my fellow top girl, Irene Mudoni. Thank you, Farhia, for your kind words. All protocols observed. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Irene Mudoni. Uh, class of 2021 as part of the top girls. We tied with her here. Uh, I got a B plus of 71 and I'll be joining university at ALU, African Leadership University at Rwanda in September. The journey has not been easy, but we got tougher along the way. And I woke up and I remember teacher Marilyn and during KCSC, she told us, if you feel like you can't do it, just wake up and say, not today. <laughs> um, my fellow sisters, there are some of you who woke us up very early during our last nights <laughs> for KCSC. You were there for us, and you joked with us, and you loved, you loved with us, and you loved us, and we forever appreciate that. May all the relationships that we built with you keep on being with us and may they grow as time moves by. Last but not least, my fellow graduates, the Titans. Well, for those of you who don't know what Titans means, it's people with great importance. And today I know we have great importance and we're going to make a lot of changes in our lives and in the world like Daraja envisioned for us. So thank you, Daraja, for holding our hands throughout. And if you feel like you want to give up, just say, not today, because it's not today. And you have to keep moving on.
Thank you so much. Indeed, today is not the day to give up. Every single day is not the day to give up. Thank you, Irene and Faria, for your awesome words. Next, we'll have a student representative who will also give us her speech. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jacqueline Kamunge, uh, class of 2022. This is a very special moment for a true Daraja because he or she knows how much and how much it means to come to this far. It has taken courage and a lot of determination. You would have given up long time ago, but you did it. Congratulations. While here, Faith Mwangi once said she's an alumni of Daraja. She said from, uh, from lower grounds, you've grown <coughs> and you're going to fly even higher. So it's time for you to fly higher. You have all it takes. Daraja has given you a tool that you need to change everything you want to change in the world. The tool is wish. You have gone through wish. Use it. It's your time to change the world. An amazing woman, Dr. Jane Goodall said that everything you do makes a difference but you have to decide what kind of difference you want to make. The difference you want to bring to your community, to your life, to your family, to this country at large, it's the moment. I cannot thank the Raja enough because they, they made it happen. Being here today for you is like making a promise. You're promising yourself that you're going to be great. Uh, thank you so much. Every family has a father, a mother, and children. Please help me welcome the class mom to speak on behalf of the parents. All protocols observed. Ladies and, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Marilyn Wangari, the Raja alumnus, class of 2012 the very first class, and very blessed to have been the class teacher of the class seated here today. I always wanted to become a teacher. I'm living my dream, and I got my first class, my first children. Congratulations. We got a very wonderful dad, and we thank you for your role so far, Mr. Mwangi. And as your big sister, allow me to speak love, stability, hope, and everything that you need in your life. May God bless you. The Raja exists because of a couple that decided to start the Raja. I would like to convey their congratulations. They are so proud of you this uh, afternoon. And they say, this is just the beginning. Go to the world and rock. Jenny and Jason are the founders of Daraja, and because of them we are. Because of Jason's dream, Daraja was started, and it is 14 years later. That is why we are able to see the fruits. In absentia also, Victoria Gishohi, who is executive director, is away that she sends love to everyone that is in attendance today. Thank you to our supporters, she says. It is because of you that we are. Jason could have had a very wonderful dream, but if he didn't have people to execute the dream, it would die. So today, from the bottom of our heart, I want to appreciate each one of you and for the everyone that you play at the Raja. For this afternoon, we are honored we're really honored to have you all as uh, the members of East African Women's League. And I know this is a continuing journey. And um, we feel the love. I will have Stephanie introduce you and take over from here. Okay, I just ask Sue to come. This is, uh, Sue is the chair for the Nanuki branch. 
really impressed. And congratulations to all you girls over there. Well done. And they're all the best for your future. I hope you all enjoy your universities and your colleges. And then come back and show us all how great you all are. I've just got a small donation. We had a, um, a, a sponsored walk, which uh, was supported by um, the Brickwood School and St. Christopher School from town and the Mark Kenya Academy in Erie. And they very kindly raised quite a lot of money, so I can go to donate some, some of that towards Sydney. She believed she could. And so she did. Now we are in another session of certificates. And so I keep asking them, do you have any fear as you go to the world? Yes. And they say yes. What is your fear? My deepest fear is not that I am inadequate. My deepest fear is that I am powerful beyond measure. Clap for them. So when I call your name, you come over. Uh, your dad will give your certificate album to Stephanie and you receive it from Stephanie. And I want to start with Palhia Ibrahim. Congratulations, Palhia. Anza Mohammed. Congratulations, Anza. Taking the journey well. Go change the world. Congratulations, go change the world. And selfie, congratulations on your achievements. Madina Galbo, congratulations Madina for taking your course very seriously and achieving today. Go change the world. Naomi Galgalo. Thank you, Caro. All protocols observed. Good afternoon. My name is Elizabeth. I'm the head of the academics, the Raja Academy, and I also teach English and literature. I welcome you all. Gallant graduates, congratulations. Thank you. It is because of you that all of us are here. Thank you for availing yourselves. Uh, as we come to the tail end of this occasion, I leave you with two things. Never stop learning. Be open to corrections because that is how we improve ourselves. The second thing is that arrogance is the armor of the weak people. And because I know you're strong, you'll be able to know the difference between uh, confidence and arrogance. And that difference is called humility. You have a voice, use it well. I wish you well. May you go out there with love. We love you so much. Never fear coming back. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Daraja. Now this is the moment. I want to invite Director of Operations to take us through this moment. This indeed is a moment. You look ready for this moment. For these girls that they admit is to provide a strong academic base, to provide a safe environment, to allow these girls grow the innate skills that they have within them, and to prepare them to be community leaders. <laughs> Jason has two hearts, he says. One for his family, and the other one for? For girls. He believes so much in what girls can do, in the power that girls have. Is that you go out and shine, you go out and influence, you go out and be the Raja. Congratulations. We love you so, so much. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce and to present to you the graduating class of 2021. Congratulations. 
Them say, them tell you say, say you can never be the one. But God say, make I tell you, congratulations, you're a sinner. Join me as we congratulate them. As they turn their tassels from the right to the left. This is the Raja Academy class of 2021 graduates. You are no longer graduates you are graduates. graduates congratulations to all of you as a show of faith as a show of faith because we believe it do you believe it yes. as a show of faith i want you to jump as high as you ambition <laughs> throw your capes as high as you can because that is where you will go she believed she could Yeah,